Hey friends, welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. On this episode, we'll be discussing Lovecraft Country, episode four, called A History of Violence. What an adventurous episode this was. This was so was. much fun. It was. Oh my gosh. I felt like I saw a lot of like the Goonies, Indiana Jones, escape yes. rooms. <laughs> yes. A lot of influences like that. All right, let's just begin with like one of my favorite scenes, which is when Christina's driving down the street with this vintage 1950s backdrop, but the song playing is Bitch Better Have My Money by Rihanna. Yes. And it just kind of spoke to like her white privilege and her attitude, just like, I don't care. Like, I mm -hmm. thought that was so cool. They did that a lot in this episode, having the modern music. Yes, I love how they do that. I think that's brilliant and it's really well done. It's really original. Yes, and it ties into the whole theme of that, like, though it's said in the past, all the issues are totally contemporary. Like, not, like it really questioned the whole, like, narrative of progress and what, how much has really changed, especially in terms of, like, racism in the U.S., because a lot of the same conversations that were happening then are still happening now. A lot of the violence, like the history of violence. Right. The title, is, it's still happening now. So. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so Christina comes to the to her house, Let's House, and there's this force field. She couldn't come in. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. That was a little nugget of like foreshadowing, I uh -huh. think. Or like some type of future showdown, I think. Has to right. Happen, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And she's looking for something very specific, that orrery. I didn't know what that was, but apparently it's, it's like the key. Word. Is that a real word? Like kind of like how they say realitist? Is that oh. like a realtor? Like a realtor? Yeah, I don't I'm know. I'm not that. sure. I just know that it's the key to the time machine and it's that solar system thing. Yes. <laughs> that Hippolyta took. Which they call a time machine at some point. So I'm wondering what that's going to, so we're looking forward to like a future travel episode because obviously every episode is like a different sci-fi fantasy horror genre. I could totally see the creators bringing it back to present day to tie it in in the end. Ooh. Kind of come full circle. Oh, the future is now. Maybe. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I really hope that happens. <laughs> I haven't read the book, so maybe. We, yeah. We, we I, other yeah, people could be a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could comment and let us know. That's fine. You can spoil <laughs> it for us. <laughs> um, so let's get back to Tick and Letitia and, and Montro. So they're it's time to go on a road trip, and why not bring the family along? <laughs> Hippolyta and Dee are coming along, and then randomly Tree comes Yeah, with that them to get to Philly. I was like, was his only purpose this episode to tell uh, Tick that Montrose is hanging out with this guy Sammy more? Is that his only purpose? I know, right? Yeah, I didn't really get that either. Maybe some comic relief? Yes. Of sorts. But yeah, this is just really where the adventure happens. And it was so cool that they go to that museum. Mm -hmm. And then did you think maybe there was something going on with Montrose and that security guard? And that's how he was able to gain access to it after hours? Oh. Like, I don't know. It could be. The only reason I say that is because why even bring up the whole, t like, mm -hmm. spending more time with Sammy thing? Like, do yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, it's obvious to us that he's queer. So, right. In some sort, right? So... <laughs> possible I didn't yeah even because after he tells him that he looks over and he's talking to the security yeah. guard so oh, i thought yeah. maybe there had something to do with it yeah, i i wasn't i didn't put that together but now it totally makes sense maybe yeah so mm -hmm. yeah just this episode kind of was so fast-paced and it might even seem like there were holes in it like well how did they just so easily get in and, and like when they're walking that plank and they just so easily got the combination to that door and it's like we didn't even know what the puzzle was i want to know what the puzzle was and they got out so easily too yeah so that but I, I get that they had to move it along they only have an hour to get this basically movie like episode done mm -hmm. Yeah. So I feel like if people are feeling antsy about that, that's probably the only reason why. And we still had a really cool ending and the whole yeah. story, the whole episode was great. For sure. I want to go back before we really talk about that stuff. I want to go back to Christina because um, there was this part where she um, was playing hide and seek with those children. <laughs> okay. It's so random. So I'm like, okay, what, is, what do we need to know from this scene? Is it because maybe she missed out on that type of fun when she was little, like when she was a child? It, it did it really stood out to me as odd i was like what is happening here or yeah or is she trying to make them mad the police of the town like you know just like yeah. i don't know yeah. hanging out with the kids and then oh my gosh when the cops are following her 
because mm-hmm. you know she's not supposed to be there without telling them mm-hmm. and she walks into the house and then william comes right after this mm-hmm. kind of reminds me of a theory that one of our viewers told us about they commented and said that william and christina are the same person oh. possibly i thought that could have because it was just so quick she walks in immediately william walks out i mean that could just be coincidental but just because it made me recall that theory and i thought maybe and then when do we ever really see them together together i was just i was just thinking back on that i kind of was right. trying to think hmm. and then because we're talking about william can we talk about william and ruby yes oh <gasps> ruby i felt so bad for ruby i know so she when she went to marshall fields and company mm-hmm. and to get that job and she already saw that another black woman had gotten the job and then she's just down and out. She's not, doesn't have a good relationship with her sister. You know, they were just trying to make things work. And then he kind of takes advantage of her vulnerability. But then if this is the theory of that's Christina, what does Christina want with her? What does William want with her? Right. I don't know. Well, definitely like the whole tie with Letty and Ruby, like Christina's definitely, I mean, it's all connected, right? Because they're sisters. So yeah what yeah i don't i don't really know is it all just the key to like getting to atticus and i i don't know that's that's what i'm thinking too but and then like it was she so drunk that she didn't notice the crazy scars on his chest that she didn't even care i I don't know i was really the i don't know if chemistry is the word i was very intrigued by their kind of like witty banter back and forth yeah but i don't know if i thought that they were going to go there I know. I didn't see that coming at all. But I kind of liked it. I was yeah. like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm really glad that they're using the kind of like peripheral characters like Ruby more. And I that that gives me hope that she is going to be a, a bigger part of this story. And also Hippolyta, she's, I mean. I'm, really, I'm waiting for her to become central because I was kind of disappointed that uh, she and Dee kind of like went off to do their own thing and didn't really come back until yes but she did yeah but that scene when she sees the atlas that d has and and then she sees where george circled that town oh my gosh she's gonna go there going there oh my gosh next next episode is gonna be good oh my gosh it's Mm -hmm. it's so interesting how they're doing this because we just when we thought they were done with we thought the viewers thought they were done with that part of the story she's gonna go back there Uh, the previews i was trying to pick because now it's all like i'm trying to guess what genre they're gonna go for and it kind of looked like a shining like mansion murder type thing did you notice that i did (sighs) oh my gosh they're really just checking all the boxes here with all the genres yes yeah, I really like that. All right, so we should go back to um, this little treasure hunt of sorts. Um, mm-hmm. So they're trying to find these missing pages mm-hmm. of this book and um, the Book of Adam. Yes. Book of Dawn. Yeah. So I was a little uh, shocked by, okay, when they go and they see like the the skeletons, corpses of this indigenous people. Mm-hmm. And then when the woman, when she comes to life, Mm-hmm. Yahim, we find out that was so cool yes because i i was kind of getting little glimpses of like flesh appearing yes and i was like what's happening it was pretty amazing they did a really good job of like making you think wait a minute is she coming to life right now and mm-hmm. then the fact that she is neither man nor woman or she's both. neither or or both right right the two spirit um so that's really interesting yeah an mm-hmm. interesting kind of character and then just everything after that that happened with the when they go back to the elevator um and i didn't that elevator goes to let's house right let tisha's house oh is that the elevator from her because remember we saw the floating body of the dead guy that came to her <laughs> right. you're right is that the right i mean they never showed them coming up the elevator to her house but I was so confused as to why that body was there under the museum, but they did travel very far away. Yeah. Okay. It just seems like all of a sudden they're in her house. And I'm like, so that was her elevator then. Oh. Isn't it crazy? That is crazy. Oh my gosh. Did you laugh? Okay. Tell me if I'm just like in a really weird mood, but when they're, they finally get in the elevator after Tick kisses her and then the lady Yahim starts like shrieking and then he punches her. <laughs> Am I just a weirdo? Did you ever see Splash? You know the yes. Movie? <laughs> when, when she was like screaming. 
<laughs> and that, then she turned out to be a siren. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, there you go. Give me something like that. Oh my gosh, I'm such a weirdo. I was like laughing yeah, hysterically. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then Montrose and Tick finally have this like loving father son moment. Mm-hmm. When they're talking about her mother, and then next scene goes in and slits Yahim's throat. He tricked us. He he did. Or did I got, he? I got duped. I got duped. Because I, I wanted the father-son moment. And I was like, okay, you know. Okay, there we go. They're going to be okay. They'll You're- work it out. I was in my brain having this conversation like, let's just start over. We can like make this right. But then I was like immediately let down. What's wrong with me? Yeah, I know. Why would we even think that? <laughs> but um, man, that was, didn't see that coming either. And we just got a new character. It's kind of cool character. Right. Of- he and then now nope she's gone or she he i don't know which pronoun to use (laughs) non-binary i don't know um yeah and montrose i i just can't say enough about the acting all of the actors are so wonderful but he was so good in the very beginning when he burned that book did you notice him say smells like tulsa yes oh i just got chills again crazy that's got to be the tulsa massacre of 1921 yes so he was probably in it with George and Nora. Oh and my gosh. Time travel will be backwards. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This just is so exciting that a show so can make this. I know. Cause I watch the whole time I'm watching my, like my head hurts. Cause I'm trying to figure <laughs> out like what's happening, but it's also, it's also like amazing to watch too. Cause you're also transported, like you said, to all those movies that you are so familiar. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like it totally was like Indiana Jones to me the whole yeah. way because I like grew up with those movies but then I was thinking to like um Tomb Raider did you see Tomb Raider no like, um oh gosh the National Treasure the one with Nicholas yes King. yes so I was just like, totally oh, Goonies, of course yes so oh it was just so good it was like truly an adventure I kind of was like waiting for the boulder to like follow them out of the house but instead they got in the elevator yeah that's all that was missing yeah. but Really, this has been, if you blink, you'll miss something. Yes. Like, it's like almost something, I, we've said it before, we're going to have to like watch it over and over, over again. And over because... again. I definitely would love to watch it over again. I want to mm-hmm. like, read all about it, like right after and like listen to the podcast because I just want to like, yes. you know, what other people think of it as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, this is a surprisingly good series at a time we really needed it. We needed to escape a little bit, right? So... I'm loving it so far. We're not even halfway done. No. And I love that the women are so strong in this show and like more to come. We can totally see that it's happening with like um, Hippolyta next. Week. And I think Dee's going to have a big uh, role as well. So I yes. can't wait. Her comic book, that's totally going to play in. I can't That's right. Gonna- yes, definitely. I will tell you, I, I did notice uh, that Journey Smollett, who plays Letitia, did get top billing for this episode. I noticed her name was first. So yes. thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Um, all right. That's all I have. Yeah, me too. All right. That wraps it up for us. Please like and comment below like you have been all along. Thank you so much. We really appreciate them. And thanks for helping us out because there's a lot to keep up with. And then subscribe while you're at it. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.